He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone. My name is Don Bain, and of course, I am the Gadget Professor. Welcome to episode 116. Uh, we are really uh, packing the episodes in. It is August 1st. I don't know where the time is going, but uh, as everybody knows, the Gadget Professor says uh, as soon as you hit uh, uh, Memorial Day, the, uh, the summer is shot. So uh, there you go. Uh, I am back in uh, somewhat rainy Narragansett, Rhode Island, and uh, coming to you live. I'd like to welcome everybody to the show. If you're new, welcome. If you're old, welcome back. We have an interesting show for you this week, kind of a lot of news, uh, several uh, uh, newsworthy items, and uh, a couple of pretty cool uh, application utilities, and uh, let's, uh, let's start the show right off. Uh, of course, everybody knows how to get the Gadget Professor, otherwise you won't be watching me, but uh, the easiest way, of course, is to uh, just go on our webpage, which is thegadgetprofessor.com, and that's where we are right now. And uh, if you see this little brown box and go down to the fifth item and click the Gadget Professor, you can subscribe to the show. And we come out every Thursday night with a brand new episode. I try to bring you things that are technically interesting, some types of gadgets or uh, items that will bring you uh, joy and functionality to your life and not break the bank at the same time. So uh, we're always looking for bargains out there. And uh, I do try to answer some technical questions that I get through my email. And that brings me to uh, the next thing, which is uh, email me any point in time at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. That would be thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. And you can do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I do answer all my emails. So again, if you click on this brown button, uh, it will subscribe you to the iPod, the iPad, iTunes, anything that takes a subscription. Uh, you will automatically get the Gadget Professor by subscribing to the RSS feed. And uh, certainly you want to get the show notes. And to get the show notes, you can scroll down to here. And uh, it's about midway down to the page right before you actually get to the... Uh, video section which is here but right here it says newsletter you really want to get the newsletter folks because even if you don't listen to the show uh, you're busy or whatever you can at least look at the URLs that we talk about every week they're hot linked you click it and believe me there's not a week that goes by where someone doesn't email me and say hey gadget professor remember you did a show on that or remember you did a show on this and uh, I remember doing the show but I don't remember all the utilities the apps and the gadgets that I talked about because I'm on episode 116 so uh, my memory is still good but it's not that good so uh, you want to keep the uh, the show notes on file for sure uh, another way you can get in touch with me is just simply by going to the gadget professor's Facebook page and if you go there uh, click like me because uh, everybody likes the gadget professor and I noticed that we have a new message from my friend uh, Dave Morgan and uh, Dave I'll get back to you shortly on your request there uh, uh, it's almost easier speaking to you on the phone if you want to give me your phone number and I can talk to you about your issues, but uh, I'll send you an email and get back to you. And then, of course, last but not least, folks, I love the Rebel Mouse page. It will be on my show notes. Uh, just click that link, uh, hot link it uh, on, on your browser, market, book market, and essentially I tweet probably 40 to 50 times a day. And what the Rebel Mouse page will do is it actually takes these tweets and gives you a great visualization of every gadget that's probably come out in the last hour. So if you go back to this page three or four times a day, it will change. It will change. And today, uh, as you can see, these are all the new gadgets. Uh, and it's varied. It's just not technical gadgets. It's all kinds of things that I think you will enjoy. Uh, there's a kind of a neat popcorn maker. Uh, but in any event, uh, I talk about all kinds of crazy things. And you can just click on what you're interested in. And then also, if you want to check any back episodes, you can click on the other side of the uh, uh, Rebel Mouse page, and uh, you'll see uh, all the old Gadget Professor comments, photos, all kinds of things. And uh, Rebel Mouse is really one of my favorite, uh, favorite apps out there. So we do have a gadget of the day, and uh, we'll get to that shortly. And uh, this is it here, and it's called the Crasher. So we'll take a look at that in a minute, and uh, uh, let's move on. So uh, the first thing I wanted to call your attention to 
today in the uh, New York Times, uh, by the way, every Thursday the New York Times has a fantastic technical uh, uh, page, if you will, and uh, they do a great job. And today they actually spoke about what we reviewed last week, which is uh, Chromecast. And Chromecast uh, simply and cheaply flings the web video onto your uh, TV. Uh, I have ordered one. Uh, I ordered one this, the day I found that they were available for 35 bucks, and they are back ordered big time. I still don't have mine, so I will do a an, an on the air review of Chromecast. But essentially, in a nutshell, this article, which I will post on the show notes, tells you exactly what the uh, uh, the Chromecast device will do. And I'll sum it up. Uh, stunt one. It lets you watch videos from YouTube, Netflix, and Google Play, uh, Google Movies, and TV Store for the Android gadgets on your big screen. So you can just literally drag and drop them onto your TV set. Uh, and uh, you can also use your phone or your tablet, whether it's Apple or, or uh, the Android system, as your remote control, including turning it on, turning it off, and increasing and decreasing the, val the uh, volume. The second thing that it does is uh, the Chromecast device, which is nothing more than a uh, like a USB plug. It's going to look something like that, a little bit bigger, but that's pretty much what it is. Uh, the second thing it does is Chromecast displays websites on your TV. So by broadcasting from Google's Chrome browser on your Mac or your PC, uh, you can get web pages to come up. So, and they will be adding on more and more things, and we'll get to a full review uh, once I get my uh, my Chromecast uh, uh, dongle, which I'm hoping is soon. But uh, it's a very cool device. I can't wait to see it. And uh, this is a great article that tells uh, everything you need to know about it. And for 35 bucks, wow, it's pretty cheap. Is it as robust as the Roku or the Apple TV? Absolutely not, but they're a hundred bucks, and this is thirty-five bucks. So uh, we'll take a little look at that uh, as soon as I get it. Now, the next page I'm going to uh, talk about is I frequently get asked, "Hey, gadget professor, where, where do you get all these deals from? Like today's deal, uh, where, where, where do you get these? How do you find them?" Well, uh, the truth of the matter is, I subscribe to a lot of uh, shopping sites, and I get a lot of email during the day, and I kind of pour through them and. Uh, uh, that's where I find some of the cool deals, and then other times we have people actually send us products to review, so it's a combination of that. By the way, if you have a product that uh, you're manufacturing or know of and you want me to review it, just drop me an email at thegadgetprofessor.com, and I will re be very happy to uh, review your, your gadget and take a look at it. So getting back to where I find these bargains, one cool site is called sharkstores.com, and uh, they, they basically call the Internet and find out all the hot deals of the day and uh, this breaks it up into watches. I'm just going to click on watches because that's what comes up first but if you like uh, deals on watches uh, as you'll see this will come up or should come up with a, a ton of different watches. I don't know why it's taking so long today. I, might, I have a Verizon, Verizon Fios connection which is lightning fast but uh, here's a, a bunch of watches that uh, uh, you'll see the pictures fill in shortly. There, there's probably 50, 60 different watches in all price range ranges, and uh, you can check that out at your leisure. There we go. Uh, so they got everything from skeleton watches, men's watches, women's watches, and uh, again, the prices are all over the place. And uh, you know, some of them are pretty good deals. And you can do the same thing for uh, for shades, luxury, family, boutiques, exclusive. They get rewards for uh, exclusive shopping on. Uh, the uh, shark store so just check that website out again it will be in the uh, show notes now moving right along here this is a uh, pretty disturbing but uh, uh, X score NASA tool collects nearly everything a user does on the internet that's pretty scary X score gives you wide reaching collection of online data NASA analysts require no prior authorization for searches that's NSA and uh, it sweeps up email, social media activity, and browsing history. And a top secret national security agency, that's NASA or NASA, a program allows analysts to search with no prior authorization, are you kidding me, through vast databases containing emails, online chats, online chats, and browsing histories of millions of individuals according to the documents provided by the whistleblower uh, Edward Snowden. The NSA boasts in training materials that this program called X Keyscore is the widest reaching system for developing intelligence from the Internet. The latest, revel the latest revelations will add to the uh, intense public and congressional 
debate about the extent of NASA surveillance programs, and this goes on and on about it. Uh, I want you to read it because uh, it's pretty terrifying, and the truth of the matter is uh, anything, that, anything that you do on the Internet, anything, uploading, downloading, uh, chatting, you name it, web browsing, uh, unless you take precautions, uh, they will know exactly what you're doing pretty much instantly. And uh, we had a show a couple weeks ago where I mentioned probably six or seven different browsers that you can use that will uh, basically shade what you're doing. Not that what you're, what you're doing is illegal, but uh, you know it, it's no one's business except your own. We're not gonna we're not gonna go there on this show, but uh, it's pretty frightening. And uh, as far as making comments on Edward Snowden, uh, uh, the gadget professor at one point in time in my life did have a security clearance, and uh, it's made quite clear to you what you can do and what you could not do. So uh, you know, on one hand, I think he's uh, uh, culpable uh, just for that alone and a variety of other reasons, and I hope I hope they they snag him because he's done a lot of harm to the United States. But uh, that's a show for another time, and I hate getting involved in politics, and it's very rare that I'll make a comment, but this, this uh, uh, X key score is very disturbing to me. So let's, let's roll on here and have some fun. Uh, I got two, strangely enough, two requests this week for what were those programs that we used to listen to the uh, uh, police scanner, the emergency radio, and, uh, you know, here we go again. If you had the show notes, you would have found out. But uh, there, it's called emergency radio. There's probably seven or eight programs out there. If you go to the Google Play Store or go to iTunes and just uh, uh, put in police scanner or scanner radio, you'll find several applets that are out there that you can use. Now, this one, emergency radio, police scanner, uh, if you have the iPhone and you go to iTunes, uh, it's going to cost you 99 cents. We'll call it a buck. If you have the Android, uh, it's free, so go figure. But uh, that, that's the one that I use, and it works pretty well. The next app that we have is called Zohorn. It's made by Zohorn Software. It's called Caffeine. If you have problems with your PC locking or going to sleep, Caffeine will keep it awake. It works by simulating key presses, you know, that's when you touch the key, every 59 seconds. I don't know why it does it every 59 seconds, but it does. So your machine will think it's still working at the keyboard, so it won't lock the screen or activate your screensaver. Uh, the icon is shown above, and it's uh, the leftmost on the task tray, and you can see the, uh, the icon r r r right there. But uh, here's a whole article on how it works. It's totally free, and uh, if you don't want your... Uh, there's other ways, obviously, to stop the screensaver from coming up, but uh, this is an interesting way to do it, and it is totally, 100% free. Now, uh, we were talking about, uh, you know, data and uh, uh, data mining and, you know, how the government does it, but uh, did you ever wonder how much your personal data is worth? Well, this site is going to allow you to explore how valuable your data is with an interactive calculator. Uh, while the multi-billion dollar data broker industry profits from trades of thousands of details about individuals, uh, and those bits of information are often sold for a fraction of a penny apiece according to the industry pricing data viewed by the Financial Times, the average person's data often retails for less than a buck. General information about a person such as their age, gender, and location is worth a mere point zero 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 five per person or 0 .50, 0 .50 cents per thousand people. A person who is shopping for a car, a financial product, or a vacation is slightly more valuable to companies because you're eager to buy something. So essentially what you can do with this site is you can find out what your data is worth. So you fill out a little form here, and it doesn't ask anything personal. It doesn't track anything. The site's very safe to use. But uh, it's pretty interesting, so check this site out, and uh, <laughs> you'll be amazed at, at the things it asks. And again, it's nothing personal. It doesn't record anything, but it's a, it's a pretty interesting site to fool around with. Moving right along, we have the Thin Print Cloud Printer. And experience true cloud printing. Print seamlessly from your Android to your own personal connected cloud printer from the mobile The Print Cloud applet. Benefit from over 10 years of experience in professional printing solutions with more than 3.5 million users worldwide. Get your printed connected. The highlights of this delicious free 
application is it's 100% free for personal use. There's no ads or no uh, in-app purchases, things that you have to purchase before you get it for free. I hate that. It has full compatibility. It works with any brand printer. Print from all your devices. Print to your cloud printer from your smartphone, your tablet, even your laptop. Simple one-time setup with just a few clicks to print mobile thanks to the Print Cloud Printer connector. And you can share your cloud printer, easily share your printer with your team and family. So that means anybody that you know, if you want to let them share your printer, this is the application that will do it. And uh, it goes on to delineate uh, the features that it has for the Android, so on and so forth. Again, it's totally free. I have set this up and used it, and it does work quite, quite well. And now it is time for... Uh, the gadget of the day and the gadget of the day is put out by a company called JLab and they make a lot of cool audio devices and today we are fortunate to have the Crasher and the Crasher is a Bluetooth speaker and I know I've done one of these before I've done the Logitech I've done the Jawbone and now we're gonna do the Crasher uh, the Bluetooth in this uh, it, on the back it says crash the party from 30 feet away so there's a 30 feet range uh, that your Bluetooth will extend to the crasher obviously it's wireless because it's Bluetooth uh, rugged metal body keep crashing yes the pun is intended it's uh, quite uh, quite well built as you'll see in a minute what I like about this is it has 10 hours of play time the night will end before this does that's what it says in the back it's portable USB power pack uh, is your phone running out of juice? And this is a very interesting feature and why it is that I'm reviewing it today. But if your phone is running low, uh, you can give it a full juice by plugging your phone into the USB port here. And you can play this and charge your phone at the same time. There's very few Bluetooth devices on the market that have a, a big enough power supply, a big enough battery that are uh, that's put into this that will actually run the device and charge your smartphone at the same time. It's a very cool feature. This also has a built-in speaker phone and it has an auxiliary connection. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. Uh, this is this is the box. Uh, it has a very uh, very nice packaging. Uh, there's a little card that you immediately pull out, and it essentially shows you in three steps how to use it. Very simple to use, very easy to hook up. And on the back, it has a uh, identification of what the actual jacks are. So this is what the package looks like, and uh, this is what the crasher looks like. Uh, it's it's very high grade aluminum. Uh, there's two rubber feet on the bottom so you could stand it up. The sound comes from the front and the back as well. Uh, on the side, on one side, you have that USB charging port that I mentioned. You have an up and down key arrow for increasing or decreasing the volume level. And uh, you have a little phone icon here. It's a button that if you're getting a call in on your smartphone, you just push this and this will become a speakerphone for you. On the other side, uh, there are a couple utilities. One, there is a recharge jack, and I'll show you the, uh, the power pack that comes with it. This is how you charge this device. And yes, you can plug it into your computer USB port, or any USB jack for that matter, with the proper mini cable, and uh, charge this device. It has a, uh, online, an inline uh, a mini jack, which comes uh, with the package, and I'll show you that in one second. It also has a bunch of lights. It has a little button here that we're going to press to actually uh, par this with the uh, pair this par this. We go through this all the time with your Bluetooth device, and it actually has an on and off switch. So let's see what else comes in the box. Uh, you get a little baggie, which is uh, very nice, uh, very soft. Uh, it's good for wiping off and keeping your uh, your screen clean. I can tell you that. The charger is uh, very unique. It's a very small charger, and essentially uh, there's two prongs here that you're going to pull out, and obviously this plugs into the uh, power receptacle. It also comes with uh, uh, the cord that will charge the device, so one end is USB. It's going to go in here, and of course the other end will go right here into that small mini USB connector like that, and this plugs in the wall and it charges. Uh, you can see that there's a little red light here and uh, that means that it's charging when it goes green obviously it's uh, it's charged so we'll turn the device on I don't need the power supply because it's already charged up uh, I'm gonna turn the device on which is just merely like so 
and uh, these lights light up and right now it's scanning for the device and it just beeped I don't know if you heard that and this actually has paired or paired with my uh, small but functional Asus Nexus 8 la uh, tablet so I will turn this on and I'm gonna go to Pandora instantly comes on and right now it's as low as it will go and I'm gonna turn the uh, the volume up for you let's put it up a little bit louder now you can hear a ringtone maybe that means it's as high as it will go the sound is crystal clear and quite loud uh, I don't hear a lot of bass from it but it is pretty good right now uh, let's turn this down when I put it on the table the bass definitely comes up when I'm holding it in the air it doesn't sound as bassy but uh, in terms of clarity in terms of power this thing really 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 packs a punch and the sound is a lot clearer uh, than the previous review that I have done on the uh, Logitech one that was here so if I had to pick between the Logitech and this I'd actually pick the crusher the crasher excuse me so let's crank this up excellent sound so I'm gonna turn this down and the uh, actually we'll we'll turn it off actually the the uh, sound of this is, is quite good the construction is quite good it comes in a variety of colors uh, the one thing that I mentioned that was very interesting to me, and I've never seen it actually, is here's the USB port. I can actually plug a USB cable in there and plug my smartphone into it. So as I said, as this is playing, I'm actually using the power supply that's in here, the battery that's in here, to charge my smartphone to give it more juice. That's a very compelling, very cool feature. Uh, I have no complaints whatsoever with this box. Some people... Uh, uh, don't love it but for the money uh, I don't think you can touch this with the 10-foot pole uh, the things that are that are unusually good about this is a uh, they're saying in the product the literature that it's an 18 hour battery life is 10 hours uh, the battery life is 18 hours so what do we mean by that I don't know uh, either the battery life is 10 hours or the battery life is 18 hours what I think they're referring to is uh, the following if you look at their advertisement and they should do it a little bit clearer is it says the jawbone and what they're doing is they're doing a comparison so if you just look at this ad you're gonna see battery life 10 hours battery life 18 hours and doesn't mean anything to you but if you if you look and read carefully it's comparing it to the jawbone we did a review on that maybe two months ago the battery life of the jawbone is 10 hours and the battery life of this particular unit of the crasher is 18 hours now on the back it says 10 hours of the box so I'm not sure whether it's 18 or whether it's 10 I just don't know but obviously there's a discrepancy there which is why I'm pointing it out to you and it really very clearly on the back says 10 hours play time so uh, something's not right with their marketing as far as that goes so let, let's let's go down this has two drivers uh, a rear passive and a rear passive uh, subwoofer it's 90 db maximum volume it's enough to fill up a room without any question about it it has a 1500 milliamp battery which is excellent and it says at medium volume maybe this adds some clarity to it at medium volume it will provide 18 hours so the louder you make this the more juice it's going to use which makes sense and uh, it has a 30 foot range and that's nothing unusual what is unusual to me is this ability to recharge a smartphone while you're using it sound clarity I would say out of a 1 to 10 is probably 8 8.5 which is uh, pretty darn good it's light it's portable it comes in different colors uh, this is the silver one that I have uh, they have a, a silver with a yellow and they got this real funky purple and green now if you go on their site which is jlabaudio.com it's 79 bucks uh, this is now being uh, blown out by a lot of different companies and uh, 
If you were to look at uh, a Groupon a couple weeks ago, it's no longer available. But you could buy this for $39.99, including free shipping. Phenomenal deal if you can pick this up for $39. Bucks. I was lucky, very fortunate, to buy this on Woot. And uh, I just had the order tag right here. I ordered this on July 28th. That's when I actually clicked the button and placed the order. With Woot, you got to buy it as soon as you see it or they're gone. I paid 35 bucks for this, including free shipping, and I got it today, August 1st, and I ordered it on July 28th. That's pretty good. So for 35 bucks, this is an absolutely phenomenal buy. Uh, if you can't find it on sale for somewhere, and the way you would do that is just Google it. Just basically Google JLab Crasher and see what comes up. You may find someone that's running a sale on it, and they are running sales right now. If you don't want to wait and really want one, it's $61.17. Free shipping if you're a Prime member on Amazon, and uh, I would highly recommend it. Uh, at, even at $61, bucks, I think it's a great buy. Now, the only other feature that I didn't mention to you was this jack this uh, 3.5 mini jack which actually would plug in here and what you would do is if you have some other device uh, that has an output jack like a radio or something you could plug it in here and it would actually play the sound through this device so uh, the bottom line with this folks is uh, if you can get it you know for 35 45 55 bucks it's a great buy it's probably a good buy even at 61 dollars uh, at 61 bucks I think I'd probably look at the, uh, the Jawbone one also to see, you know, how that compares uh, in price. Let's take a look at that and actually uh, Google it while I'm talking about it. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at the Jam Box. We'll go on Amazon. So we know that uh, Amazon is sixty-one dollars and seventeen cents, and let's go Jam Box and see what they're selling for. The jam box is selling for drum roll. Yikes. That's the big one. $134. No, 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 no. Uh, I guess that's what they're selling for now. Ah. That's the big This is a big jam box for 49 bucks. Uh Jawbone That's probably comparable. I don't know. I've never tested it. Uh the one for 200 bucks, which would be right here. Uh there's no way I'd pay 300 bucks for that. For 61 bucks, I guarantee you, you would not be able to tell the difference in the sound. So, uh, there's my two cents on the J Lab phenomenal crasher. And the best line is, I got to tell you, uh, it says it says 10 hours of play. Maybe it's 18, but it says the night will end before this runs out of power. So that's kind of cute, and uh, I do definitely like it. I will probably use it uh, uh, with Pandora. Uh, in my bedroom when I'm trying to sleep at night or want to listen to a movie or something. Uh, I like these speakers. They're, uh, they're kind of cool. They're kind of portable. And truth of the matter is, I think it sounds better than my car radio. So uh, uh, we can uh, stream this uh, Bluetooth through my uh, smartphone and uh, probably put this and uh, uh, have a better sound than I'm getting and a better selection of music at that. So that will wrap it up for the Gadget Professor this week. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I'm glad that you tuned in, and I look forward to seeing everybody next Thursday night on the Gadget Professor. So long. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.